Hi, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I decided to do a reading for the week of November 1st through, well actually I'm going to do it for the, I think I'll do it for the 1st through the 14th, November 1st through the 14th for each, each sign. So, let's just see what comes up. We're going to start with... Taurus, Taurus, you know, because I'm a Taurus and that's the way it goes. So, <laughs> what do we have for Taurus for the week of November 1st? Well, the first two weeks of November. The first two weeks of November. November 1st through the 14th, please, for Taurus. Taurus, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Dear God, angels, spirits, and universe, what do we have for Taurus for the week of November 1st through the 14th? Well, the first two weeks. Love. Love is the foundation of your existence, and you're just as worthy as of receiving as you are of giving love and compassion. While love can be a beautiful emotion, it is equally a form of energy that propels you through life. So this is about love this week. Um, it's the foundation of your existence. Very, very interesting. So, what else do we have for Taurus? Receiving love. <laughs> Giving love and compassion. I feel like you're going to be getting a lot of love this week, or these two weeks, these two weeks. Finding sanctuary, opening to your spiritual source. Interesting. Opening to your spiritual source. I'm going to go ahead and read that. Finding sanctuary. That's connecting. I believe that is connecting, connecting with a higher power. Rest, rejuvenate, tune in to your spiritual source. It is time of it is a time of retreat in inner sanctuary that you can truly hear the voice of your soul. It's pretty interesting because I, I was texting something to my cousin and I was telling her to dig deep. She happens to be a Taurus, but then I deleted it because it was a long text. But um Connect with your source alone. Alone. And that was just like maybe 15 minutes ago. You need to, you need to uh, separate yourself from your friends. Go within to rest and rejuvenate and hear. To hear the messages that they are giving you. It's in times of retreat in inner sanctuary that you can truly hear the voice of your soul. Go within and find your inner refuge. Be a safe haven for others. Step forward with grace, deliberation, and thoughtfulness. Take moments for reflection. Profound healing of physical and emotional wounds can occur in the stillness of sanctuary. Difficult situations can be averted by taking time to go within. So you may need time to go within and just heal. Maybe you need to go through a time of healing. Sometimes the voyager becomes travel weary. The pack becomes heavy and the journey becomes lackluster. It's in these moments that the traveler needs to stop off the path and find a temple or sanctuary to reassess and renew and to remember that it is truly important and to remember what is truly important in life. This gives perspective in new life strategies. Create a place of beauty in your home or in nature that feels sacred and holy and spend time there, carefully listening to your inner voice. If you have been pushing too hard or struggling to keep going, this is the time to be still and nurture your internal world. Listen to the voice of spirit, but I need to reiterate. This is alone, okay? This is alone. This is not with your friends. This is you you need to separate from your friends to hear your inner voice. If you need validation, 
then you are not listening. What do we have for Taurus? November 1st through the 14th. Taurus, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Self-love. Self-love. Can you do that? Can you be alone for two weeks without engaging on the phone with your friends or going where anywhere or entertaining or anything like that? Can you? Can you listen to yourself? Can you focus on yourself for two weeks? It, yourself. And I know somebody says, oh, well, I have kids. Well, that's different. You, yeah, you got to take care of your kids. But when you're, when everything is settled, you focus on yourself. You don't engage with other people that are unnecessary. So what do we have for Taurus? Clarity. Okay. That's when you get it. That's the truth. It's a, taking a new approach. This is a new idea, right? Clarity. We see a wake-up call, awakening, epiphany, a new thought. That's when clarity comes in. So you're going to get some sort of, uh, well, this is a, this is our new beginnings. So it's a new idea. It's a new thought. Um, seeing something clearly. This is the truth. Seeing the truth of a situation. Ooh. Mm -hmm. All is not as it seems. There's an unclear and difficult path ahead with that moon card. There's hidden forces. Now, this is no resources, okay? Not using your resources effectively. Um, don't, it's not about magic. So, this is something about magic. Uh, no tricks. No tricks. Um, this is a no. Unclear confusion this is get prepared something is arriving it's time okay it's time you may be frustrated you may be you may be uh, this is emotional imbalance you may be feeling unbalanced this is a need to be patient this is this is information so this is get prepared for some sort of new information something is coming in some sort of clarity you're going to get some sort of news uh, may make i don't know if you're going to be frustrated you could be frustrated by something um with this temperance card the temperance card reverse this is um emotionally unstable somebody here is emotionally unstable there's Engaging in nef negative patterns, it's like profound self-healing is needed, okay? Somebody needs to heal. They still need to heal. They may be overdoing it, overextending themselves. Somebody is over overextending themselves. This is, so I, you know, I... Now, this is fear. It is. The moon card is fear, so that's interesting. There's some sort of hidden forces here. That's that's uh, all is not as it seems. Proceed with caution. There's some sort of unclear and difficult path ahead, but you're going to receive clarity in regards to whatever this is. What is this? I wonder if we got somebody here that is paranoid. This is like paranoia with these two cards. They're paranoid. This is holding on. Resisting change. Obsessed. Now this is the Four of Pentacles is about stability. Stable. Being stable, holding on to stability, remaining stable. We have somebody here that is paranoid, in reg paranoid maybe about their stability. Mm, King of Swords reversed. 
Three of Pentacles. That's working together, working as a team. Um, King of Swords reverse. I feel like we got somebody here that it, there's some sort of abuse with the Magician reversed and the King of Swords reversed. There's some sort of abuse. Could be mental abuse and abuse of power. Uh, I don't know if there's violence here because of the Magician reverse, the Moon, and the King of Swords. I don't know what the hell is going on? Lacking integrity. Somebody may be lacking integrity. They're not being honest. Very cold. Cold-hearted, abusive. There's some sort of abuse here. I feel like some of you are dealing with somebody that may be abusive, maybe mentally abusive. Um, but holding on, somebody's holding on for the financial aspect of it or something like that. Somebody could be saying goodbye. They could be leaving. Okay. Um, or there's somebody could be arriving. That could be a departure or an arrival. Um, but this is taking a new approach, a new idea, a new thought. Um, could be all of a sudden too. There could be uh, suddenly something could happen very suddenly. I feel like there's some sort of imbalance here. There's some sort of disharmony in a relationship, and maybe I don't know if there's a third party interference here or what. You may be dealing with a Pisces, a Gemini, um, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, Sagittarius. Um, now there's some sort of I don't know if you're going to be something to do with the church. Um, cause I feel it looks like we have a priest here. It looks like we also have an artist, somebody, a painter. Um, and then we have somebody that is, is giving directions. This must be some sort of boss or a contractor or something like that. Um, I don't know who it is. Anyhow, um, this is working as a team. We have some people that are going to be working as a team to create something. This is teamwork, working together to heal somebody, you know, but that is healing is needed with the, with that, uh, temperance reversed. Somebody is going overboard. They need to re-examine something is off. Something isn't right. Some, something isn't right in a, establishment or something like that um, there's a lack of knowledge here somebody is lacking knowledge um, and there's some sort of abuse I, there is there is some sort of abuse with the with the magician reverse and the king of swords reverse that is some sort of mental abuse physical abuse not professional lacking knowledge uh, may have somebody here that is uh, doesn't think, doesn't think before they act, um, clueless, you know, that arrogant. We definitely have somebody here that is arrogant, may have some sort of addictions. We, you know, somebody may have some sort of uh, codependency here that is affecting their ability to make good decisions. Uh, I, do, I feel like that is the case. Anyway, I do feel like something that it's it's time, it's time for you to take a new approach, turn your back on this abusive situation, turn your back on this, uh, I don't know if it's an abuser or whoever this person, this person's cold, very, very cold, mean, mean spirited. Um, this is turn your back on this mean spirited individual. This king of swords in reverse is somebody that is a dictator of some sort power crazed. We definitely have somebody here that is very stubborn, obsessed with money. This person is power crazed. Okay. But this three of pentacles, that's, that's working. Like, I don't know if you're involved in a third party situation where there's third party interference and whoever you're dealing with is dealing with another person. Maybe they've been doing it behind your back. Now the three of pentacles is togetherness. It's communicating. Somebody is communicating. They're communicating, uh, with somebody, with somebody else. There's a third party here. There is. Um, that temperance reversed. Not happy. Very, very frustrated. Re-examining, re-examining a third party. Somebody may be re-examining a third party connection. There's some sort of communication going back and forth, which is interesting. I do see paranoia here, though. So you may set for, for those of you that that resonates with, I think we have somebody here that is paranoid of, uh, 
Or maybe they're paranoid of a third party situation. But something is definitely off. With that temperance reversed, <laughs> okay, something is off. Okay, something isn't right. Um, there could be even an onset of illness. Somebody isn't healthy. They are healthy. Um, there's competing interests here. There's some sort of competition going on here, which is interesting. Wheel of Fortune. Now, this is a change. A change in circumstances. This is destiny. This is a cycle that is coming to an end. This is positive change that is coming. This is the end of an imbalance. It is, because this is a tense. The end of a third party. It's the end of... Uh, of whatever this imbalance situation is. This is the end of it going in a new direction this is being at the right place at the right time positive change uh, good luck fortune is on your side good luck is on your side i feel as though you're going to be getting some help it feels like you're going to be getting some help from a team it's almost like you're, so there's this is almost like it's a rescue of some sort getting help from some sort of team which is interesting. Um, oh, we got two. I knew there was a third party situation. Uh, there is a third party situation here. Third party interference. Now, this is parting ways from friends. Isn't that funny that I started parting ways from friends and family listening to yourself? You may, you may be involved with somebody who really isn't your friend. This person isn't your friend. There's gossiping. This is an enemy disguised as a friend. This is the party is over. There's extreme competitiveness here. This is uh, parting ways. Parting ways from somebody. So you're probably going to be parting ways. Um, now that hermit reversed is uh, fear of growing old alone. We have somebody here that may be staying in a situation because they don't want to grow old alone. Um, there's loneliness. There's This may be some sort of midlife crisis and definitely a need to heal alone and it's interesting i wanted to bring that out from the beginning you need to be alone you need to be alone you need to heal alone you need to take on responsibility and heal yourself nobody is going to heal you this is about self-love it's about i know self-love this is about self-love these next two weeks i feel as though um you're really, really, really going to need time. There is paranoia here. There's paranoia and fear. We have paranoia, paranoia, paranoia. Somebody is very, very paranoid of losing their ground, losing their stability. Uh, paranoid of... of uh, going in a new direction by the looks of things. Working with a certain team... You know, because this is team paranoid of, I don't know, uh, being alone. I don't want to be alone. You know, paranoid of uh, well, there's also worry about what everybody's gonna say. Worried about what the friends are gonna say. Don't worry about what your friends are gonna say. If they're really friends, they'll give you time alone. They they respect. They will respect. This is about respect. They will respect your decision, whatever your decision is, uh, the need to be alone. This is the need to be alone and heal this week. There's there's a lack of healing here. Okay. Um, there's antisocial need, and it's and I feel like it's a need to be antisocial. You know, it's in like I like I read the card. The, you you receive the most uh, the most clear message through messages through solitude. So I feel like these next two weeks, or you know, the first to the fourteenth is going to be about solitude. Um, it's going to be about healing, healing from a situation that left you unbalanced, that made you frustrated, that. Uh, I don't know, it feels like you were lied to. You were, you were lied to by some... There's lies right here. There's some sort of lies. 
But that's leaving the liar behind, leaving the lies behind, focusing on your stability. Um, taking a new approach, seeing something very clearly. You're going to see something very clearly. Um, you're going to be parting ways, parting ways from people that don't respect you. Um, parting ways from somebody who may have, I don't know if you, you've been cheated or there's been, it looks like somebody's been cheated. Um, there's that hermit reversed is also, um, sadness, some sort of sadness. You may be feeling sad that everything is changing, that something is ending because that, that wheel of fortune is an ending. Okay. It's a change of course. Um, it's the end of a cycle. It's the end of a cycle that you have been, it's been an unhealthy cycle. It's been an unbalanced cycle. There's been a lot, of, I don't know if there's some sort of addictions where, you know, you've been able, you haven't been able to get over it. You haven't been able to, uh, well, moderation has been needed. You haven't been able to, uh, allow. You know, you haven't been able to allow, you haven't been able to change, okay? You haven't had the self-discipline to change. There's a lack, that's what this is, a lack of self-discipline to change. You may be working with a team that is going, this is about moving forward. This is, the Wheel of Fortune is moving you in a new direction. It is. And this is the end. Okay, so for some of you, you may have been in a third party situation where you were extremely lonely. Okay, this is the end of loneliness. I don't know who that's for. Um, but extreme healing is needed because this is extreme and, this, and these are both healing. So healing is needed. But nobody can heal you but you. you. The only person that can heal you is you. So that's why self-love comes in. This is going to be two weeks of... Uh, changing your course, changing your life, changing your direction, focusing on the future, turning your back on an abusive third party or friends or people that don't support you, whatever it is, you're going to be turning your back. You're going to be focusing on the future. I feel like you're going to be going somewhere as well with that three of wands that is hoping for the best, getting prepared, getting prepared for something, uh, getting prepared. What are you getting prepared for? What are you getting prepared for? Ooh, Ace of Pentacles, some sort of loss. Something, I mean, that's a Ace of Pentacles, reverse loss. So you are going, looking at a big loss when I'm sorry, but that's what this is. Uh, you're getting ready to let something go. It's something that you don't need. It's something that you don't want. You may be throwing it away. It looks like you're saying no. This is no, I don't want it. So it looks like you're letting something. I think you are. I think you're letting something go. I think you're choosing to let it go. And I feel like the reason you're choosing it, let it to let it go is because you have a better opportunity ahead of you. And you know that you have a better opportunity ahead of you. So you're choosing to let something else go. Instead of taking that, you're, you're letting it go, which is interesting. Um, what are you letting go of? The Four of Cups. Now that's discontent, ignoring, not wanting, I'm not interested. Something you're not interested in. You're 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 letting something go that you're just not interested in anymore. You're not interested in anymore. You don't want it. You're just like I don't I don't want this anymore. No, I'm not interested. So you're letting go of of an offer. Somebody has given you something and it's like you don't want it. You just really, really, really don't want it. So you're letting it go. It's like you're you just not engaging at all. I don't want to have anything to do with it. So there's some sort of overanalyzing as well. I feel like you may be overanalyzing something, not seeing, not seeing that there's an opportunity. Huh. 
looks like you have an opportunity that you are missing. You're just, and it's like you don't want it. You don't want this opportunity. We definitely have a lost opportunity here with the, with the Ace of Pentacles reverse and, and the Four of Cups. You're focusing on the future. It's like you don't want to be in a third party. You don't want it. You don't want to be, a, you don't want to be second. You don't want to be third, you know. You don't want to be worried. You don't want to be paranoid anymore, you know. So you're, you're going someplace. You are. You're leaving. You're leaving. That three of wands is, is leaving. You're leaving a friendship behind or you're leaving a partnership or you're leaving an abuser behind. You're leaving somebody behind. That three of wands is, is getting prepared to depart. You're getting prepared. Maybe that's what you're doing right now. Maybe you're saving money. To, this is like holding, saving money so that, you, so that you can leave. That's probably what you're doing. Um, there could be some sort of unplanned uh, departure as well. An unplanned arrival or unplanned departure. Somebody could be coming in and offering you something and you didn't plan on it. You were like, oh my God, where is this coming from? That kind of thing as well. You may be getting an offer from somebody and you you may uh, may not be a good time. It may not be a good time for it. You may be like, oh, it's not a good time. It's not a good time. Uh, you know, maybe you're focused on your work or you're focused, you're focused on something else. It's just not a good time for you. Um, somebody may want to reconnect. Somebody may want to reconnect with you. And you're just like, ah, no. You know, it's not a good time. But, you know, the universe has its own plan. And sometimes that's the way it goes. This is destiny. The Wheel of Fortune is destiny. So there's some sort of destined, fated event that is happening this week. Um, what is that? You are headed towards something. Yeah, somebody may want want to come back that hurt you. I don't know if that's the case or not. Uh, you know, the Five of Swords reverse. This is a the Five of Swords reverse is is probably like a hostile situation. Somebody may be apologizing. It was hostile. They may be ap apologizing. It could be peace talks. Now, on another note, the Five of Swords reverse could be violence. It could be arrest. It could be a burial. It could be mourning. It could be bloodshed. It could be revenge. Okay. So I'm not sure what is going on, but that could also be the end of a conflict, the end of a battle, the end of a fight. Uh, the battle is over walking away. Somebody is definitely walking away. I don't want to fight with you anymore. I just want to be happy. You know, I just want to be happy. Somebody could also be getting an apology. Somebody that really hurt them could be apologizing. Don't get your hopes up because that doesn't happen very often, okay? Um, I feel as though this week you are probably going to be saying no. It feels like you're going to be getting an offer from somebody and you're going to be saying no. I'm not interested. I'm changing my direction. I don't I don't wanna I don't wanna be in that third party situation. I don't wanna be the third wheel. I don't wanna uh this is mental abuse of some sort. You know? I don't wanna be belittled. I don't I don't wanna fight. I don't wanna play games. I don't wanna compete. Um I just wanna be alone. So I feel like this week you are going to be saying no. You're going to be saying no to somebody. You're taking a new approach, okay? You are focusing on the future and moving in a new direction. Do expect to receive communication back and forth, text messages with somebody. I feel like this is somebody that uh, I don't know some sort of abuse here. There is some sort of abuse. So that king of the, that king of swords reverse and that magician reverse and the five of swords reverse. There's some sort of mental abuse, uh, uh, psychological abuse. I mean, I don't know what this is. Uh, betrayal maybe even cheating, whoever this person is, 
uh, they didn't have your best interest at heart. It could be and it could be a family member, it could be a friend. Well, it ended before I got done. But what I was saying uh, is that you're going to be saying no. You're going to be communicating with somebody back and forth. I wasn't looking at the, the camera, so my apologies. Um, you're going to be having text messages or somebody's going to text you or something like that. This is somebody that uh, I think they betrayed you in some way. They betrayed you. I also and and, and you know uh, I think you're you're gonna be saying no. I don't want to have anything. I don't want to do this. I don't want to go down that path. I don't want to go down that path. I'm not going down that path. Um, Whatever is happening, positive change is coming because of that wheel of fortune. This is the end of a karmic cycle. It's destined. You are destined to walk away. So you are going to be walking away from somebody. I don't know who it is. Could be a family member. Could be a friend. It doesn't look like it's a love interest. It could be though. It could be. I think you're going to be thinking a lot. You're going to be thinking a lot about... You know, it could be a love interest. You're going to be thinking a lot about uh, why something has happened. You are going to be analyzing. You're going to be going within, and you are going to need to go within because this is a this is a big deal. It's a big deal to say no or to lose. If you're not saying no, that's a big huge loss. Okay, that Ace of Pentacles reverse is a huge loss of something that, you know, it's gone. You're never going to touch it again. But that Three of Wands is focusing on the future, choosing to focus on the future. Leaving behind some sort of abusive individual who neglected you in some way. We have a lot of threes here. Okay? Threes are about growth. They're about change. Mind, body, and spirit union. This is becoming one with yourself in these next two weeks. This is like a spiritual awakening. It is. One more card for the next two weeks, Taurus. New life. New exciting beginning. New spark. New vitality on fire. It's a time of growth. Sudden change, sudden desire. So yeah, this is an exciting, it's exciting. It's an, we have an exciting new beginning that comes as soon as you focus on yourself. This is a new vision as well. So anyway, it looks like it's going to be a pretty interesting week. Two weeks. Two weeks. Good luck.